I was streaming my NA climb one day when a fellow OC player asked me to play his comp. I took a look and felt that the comp had some potential, so I decided to one trick it and see how it performed. I hard forced 20 games of it and gained 243 LP. Welcome to TFT in 3 minutes. Today we'll be covering Kazakh's carry, also known as Chug Bug. This is what the standard comp looks like. Gragas tanks forever while Kazix tears up their backline. You can also choose to secondary carry Karma, Nidalee or Riven as well. You should look to play this comp when you have 3 or more Gragas and 3 or more Kazix by Krugs. The strength of the comp are that it is easy to play, it is good matchups into most of the meta, and it is almost always a guaranteed top 4 once you hit. However, this comp does have a few weaknesses. It falls off late game, it rarely wins lobbies outright, and if you're contested, you're just both going 7th and 8th. So moving on to items, Kha'Zix's best items are Hand of Justice, Guardian Angel, and Infinity Edge. Hand of Justice is an excellent healing item that will heal Kha'Zix off both auto attacks and spell casts. Guardian Angel provides Kha'Zix with much needed survivability, and Infinity Edge is by far his best damage item, as it amplifies both his auto attack damage as well as his spell damage. Hextech Gunblade is an acceptable alternative to Hand of Justice, while Quicksilver and Rapid Fire Cannon are acceptable alternatives to Guardian Angel. Gragas' best items are Warmog's Armor, Gargoyle Stoneplate, and Bramble Vest. Other good options include Titan's Resolve, Redemption, Dragon's Claw, Ionic Spark, and Sunfire Cape. Most of the items I've mentioned so far are replaceable with their Radiant alternatives. Just try to take what you're missing. In general, you should always aim to build only two Kha'Zix items, and then try to take a third Kha'Zix item from the Radiant Armory. Good Kha'Zix options are Radiant Quicksilver, Radiant Rapid Fire Cannon, Radiant Guardian Angel, and Radiant Frozen Heart. Other acceptable items include Radiant Blue Buff, Radiant Shoujin, and Radiant Titan's Resolve. If you're in doubt, Radiant Banshee's Claw and Radiant Shroud are also fantastic pickups. At the start of the game, try to pick up a glove from the opening carousel. I almost always play this comp open fourth style. This means that you play the weakest board to 5 lost streak stage 2 while killing the maximum number of units that you can to save health. Mismatch Socks has a great guide on how to do this and I'll link it in the description below. You should aim to make economy at every interval, even if you have to play 0 units. The only units that I hold in stage 2 at the cost of economy are Kha'Zix and Gragas. At 3-1, start slow rolling gold above 50 for Kha'Zix, Gragas, Pike, Soraka, and any other Dawnbringer units. Your level 5 board should look like this. Keep slow rolling gold above 50 until you 3 star your units. If you hit Kha'Zix 3 before the stage 4 carousel and you have less than 6 copies of Gragas, just start leveling instead. You can always move your Gragas items to Garen later. After you have 3 starred Kha'Zix and perhaps Gragas, start leveling and playing extra Dawnbringer units to activate the 6th Dawnbringer trait. You can even make it to 9 depending on how healthy and strong you are relative to the lobby. Your final board should look like this. You want Kha'Zix jumping into their carry, put Gragas in the 3rd row to try and declump enemy teams. Try to make sure that Gragas is on the same side as the enemy carries so that he takes the aggro first and tanks forever. Have your pike on the other side from enemy carry so he will dash in and stun them. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you enjoyed the TFT in 3 minutes format, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make more of them.